So this image of a drag queen reading children's books to little kids went viral after Long Beach Public Library, also known as Michelle Obama Neighborhood Library, shared it to social media saying, thank you to all who joined us at LBPL for a special drag queen story time with Zochi Mochi celebrating LGBTQ History Month. The picture features him or her wearing some sort of satanic headdress, and the internet lost it. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a big supporter of the LGBT community. I know for a fact I have many gay and transgender people who watch and support my videos and that I'm friends with in real life. However, any rational person has to ask the question, at what point are we going too far? Checking out the bio of this person, they describe themselves as your resident killer clown from outer space. Doesn't this seem a little bit inappropriate and bizarre for little kids? Without being disrespectful, I would think if I showed up with a satanic headdress and self-identifying as a killer clown from outer space, that I wouldn't be the first choice to read books to young impressionable kids. However, hopefully this was a private event and not one that was forced upon kids that had no choice. And with that being said, pretty much all of these kids had no choice because it was probably their parents' decision to say, hey, this is a great idea and a great event for my little kid. What do you think? Gone too far or this is the new norm? I know these type of events have become oddly common in the United States for little children. Just this week it was announced that girls can now be Boy Scouts. Wow, hooray, what a big social justice and gender equality win. It's not like we already had the Girl Scouts, who make great cookies by the way, I love Thin Mints. By being as respectful as possible, I just feel like like we're going a little bit too far. Since this video might go viral, and I have to be honest, I think there are way more important issues to talk about and bring to light. Like the fact that YouTube is now demonetizing and taking money away from pretty much all independent content creators in the name of equality and freedom and social justice. Facebook and Twitter's news section is getting unbearable in the name of equality and justice and mainstream media. So while I do understand that a lot of people think this event is pretty disturbing and unnecessary, it sheds light and raises a question to a bigger problem that we are seeing in America. When does too far left become too far? For most of this year, Google even changed the definition of fascism to call it a right-wing ideology. Even though that's completely historically untrue, it has been a far left-wing ideology of more government, where most right-wing people want less government and to go back to the Constitution. But after a lot of backlash, I guess they changed the feature definition on Google, and you can only find the right-wing version on dictionary.com under British Dictionary and sprinkled a bit into Wikipedia. Isn't that kind of creepy that they were lying to people for a while? I am in no way, shape, or form right-wing, but the modern-day social justice and equality and feminism movements are getting pretty ridiculous. Almost all free information on the internet is getting so censored and so filtered to point people in this direction of more government control, less common sense, and less self-accountability. It just seems like a recipe for disaster. If we really want freedom, equality, and justice for all, we need to consider all facts and all perspectives. And that doesn't happen by jamming fake feminism and fake equality down our throats. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much for considering. God bless you, God bless America, and God bless the world. God bless all human beings and all creatures on this planet. And let me know what you think in the comments, being as respectful as possible. If you'd like to donate to my news analysis, the link will be below as well. Thank you again. Always been a rebel boy. Watch me living out the system. Yeah, I stretch like every day. I be all about my fitness. Keep my mind about the stress. So I always be my sickness. I don't trust no corporation. Cause they lie like politicians. I don't